Hello everyone, my name is Ravina. Uh, so recently I have completed my resume project challenge 9 which was conducted by Core Basic and uh, so this challenge is based upon the uh, analysis of sales for Atlic Mart. So let's begin. So let's understand first uh, what is Atlic Mart and what is our problem segment. So uh, so this one is the uh, problem segment. So here Atlic Mart uh, is a retail giant with over 50 supermarkets okay and in southern region of India and uh, so all their 50 stores ran a massive promotions and uh, during Diwali 2023 and Sankranti 2024 on their Atlic branded products. Uh, now the sales director uh, Bruce Hariali wants to understand which promotions did well and which did not well. So, um, you know, so uh, I have built this report to help uh, this uh, sales director Bruce Hariali uh, so that they can make uh, informed decisions for their uh, next promotional period. Okay. So this one is our data set. Okay. So now this uh, data set consists of three dimension tables and one fact table. Uh, so, whenever, uh, so by using this data set, I am creating my uh, report. So, let's see. Uh, this one uh, is my dashboard. So, as you see that this uh, so incremental revenue is nothing but it is a, the revenue. Uh, what is the change in the revenue uh, for before uh, promotion and after promotion? Then also, uh, as I that I am using incremental sold quantity. I am finding incremental sold quantity. The uh, that is. Uh, before the promotion, what is the quantity and the after promotion, what is the what is the quantity? There is a such kind of some kind of difference. So uh, I am using that. So here I am using these two cards, which gives the basic idea or uh, basic value for uh, total revenue and their quantity quantity sold. Okay, after promotion and. Uh, So these are the different slices I am using, okay. So depending upon your requirement, you will find that uh, data. So as you see that there are different cities. If you find found uh, for Bangalore, then it will use the data for uh, Bangalore only. So such kinds of things. Then these are the promo types. There are uh, promotions, promo types uh, such as there are different offers are present on different products. That is 25% off, 30% off, then 500 cash back, then we are buying it for free also. So such kinds of things. So then category, there are different categories also present for the uh, uh, home uh, care, then personal care, such kinds of categories and in that category there are different products, okay. So uh, then uh, this uh, will use the data for Diwali and for Sankranti. As you see I am clicking on Diwali, then it will use the data for um, what are the total quantity sold in Diwali is 1K, 18K after promotion, okay. And the total revenue is 171 million after promotion. Now the uh, then uh, this one I, uh, I incremental revenue and incremental sold quantity I am using here which gives you um, uh, in Diwali there is one zero eight percentage and in uh, 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 in uh, um, Diwali there is the IRC is ninety seven percentage. Okay, then uh, I am uh, clicking on Sankrati. Then it will use data for regarding Sankrati. Okay, so total quantity sold is four thirty three k. And total revenue is 1.24 million. So, uh, and the total um, uh, incremental revenue or uh, incremental revenue is 113 percentage and incremental sold quantity is 333, 338 percentage. So, uh, the uh, obviously uh, it has highest value than that of Diwali. So, the sales uh, growth is higher in Diva, uh, in Sankrati. Okay, so, so such kinds of thing. Then this graph gives you the uh, count of stores in different uh, cities. So as you see that the Bangalore has the highest uh, stores, okay, there are two, uh, total 10 stores are present in the Bangalore. Then uh, uh, the Trivandrum and Vijayawada has the very low stores, that is there are only two stores are present in the uh, two cities. Then uh, this uh, graph gives you the idea regarding Sankrati and Diwali, what is the, what are the percentage incremental stores regarding ISU and IR. Okay, so 338 percentage for Sankrati, as you see that there are uh, as is higher in uh, uh, Sankrati, so yes, uh, for Sankrati there are highest uh, sales goods. Okay, after all, these are the things. And this uh, table gives you the different uh, categories and uh, different categories uh, such as home and appliances. There are different products also. Okay, as you see that there are uh, at least waterproof immersion road, uh, such a kind of and bulb. So there are these are the two home appliances products. Then home care it gives you the uh, home care consists of different products that is bed sheet curtains etc. So it gives you the idea regarding and what is their incremental revenue, what is their 
total revenue what is their incremental sold quantity so this table gives you the basic idea regarding that and you will find uh, by using this and uh, i am using here uh, bars uh, for that because uh, the, the highest bar gives you the high value okay that means uh, uh, incremental revenue to 65 percentage is higher in uh, home appliances okay so as we see that there are 266 percentage higher for waterproof immersion load so yes um, incremental revenue is higher for uh, that and uh, there are uh, negative incremental also for personal care there is a negative increment so negative increment means their uh, sales are uh, low as compared to before uh, promotion so yes there are uh, such a products are also there which has a very low pro, low, low um, sales growth. so such kinds of things you uh, you have to given by using this table so uh, this is the dashboard uh, which gives you the basic idea for different cities different stores different categories and what are their incremental revenue and what are their incremental store okay so so here it, uh, this page gives you the basic uh, idea regarding different stores okay uh, in different cities so uh, as you see that uh, this graph gives you uh, the count of uh, stores in different cities yes, okay and then the, these are the uh, top 10 stores by uh, IR values okay so uh, that uh, uh, this one for the total the highest IR value is 144 140 percentage in the <coughs> in the different stores okay and these are the bottom 10 stores which has an lowest uh, IRC value is 136 percentage okay then this gives you the basic idea regarding the so easy to, uh, it, it will give you the um, uh, data the basic uh, data basic idea regarding total revenue total quantities then IR percentage and IRC percentage okay I think there is a total revenue after the promotion is 171 million and the person that it is 124 million okay and uh, before one is 83 million and 58 million percentage so these are the different kinds of slices we are using depending upon this slices you will get an idea regarding different uh, uh, promoters regarding different uh, categories okay so as like that so this one this uh, the page gives you the basic idea for stores okay different stores in different cities uh, the next page is uh, product and category okay so as you see that so these are the graphs which use the idea regarding different products and different categories okay so graph is uh, uh, gives you the idea regarding ISU percentage for each category okay okay and then the then the, I am using here pie chart uh, because uh, this uh, pie chart gives you the idea regarding different categories with respect to their IR percentage values okay and in, in, in the revenue value okay then the, this table gives you the uh, list of products having promo type uh, that is buy one get one free and uh, which has a base price greater than 500 okay so these are the uh, these are the products that is the um, waterproof immersion bed curtains etc so these are the products then this uh, uh, these are the top five products which has been ranked by uh, by the values of higher percentage okay so uh, which is a higher higher percentage than that of the others like um, at least uh, uh, waterproof uh, immersion rod then uh, bulb then the bulb then double shift set curtains arm um, kata so these products have the highest uh, higher percentage and these are the values of uh, cards i am using here which is the uh, easy understanding for uh, their discount their total quantity and their total value there as you see that if i am using uh, promo type uh, buy one get one free then it gives you the uh, value for uh, total discount for uh, buy one get one free that is 95 million okay then 500 for 500 cash value is 32 million so such a kinds of things so you will uh, select uh, for regarding your uh, requirement and get uh, the data regarding that so this page gives you the basic idea regarding products and uh, there are uh, different products in different cities and different categories and different stores and with respect to their IR values, IRC values etc what is the increase uh, increment uh, what is the sales growth increment so this way use the idea regarding that for the for the, for the promotion type analysis so as you see that here uh, these are the two graphs which gives the idea regarding uh, different uh, prototypes okay and uh, there are particular values for ir and isu so as you see here the uh, buy one get one free 
has a highest revenue, uh, has a highest increment sold quantity, sold unit, that is 640 percentage, and 25 percent has a lowest, that is minus 32 for 30 percentage. So minus means it has a negative increment. So here this graph gives you the idea regarding different prototypes with respect to their increment revenue values. So as you see that the buyman return and 500 uh, cash back has an uh, increment revenue, but uh, the August has an uh, very uh, is decrement uh, decremented revenue. That is uh, there is a negative increment value. So that means the revenue is uh, decreases after promotion. Okay, it's for 33 percentage off, for 50 percentage off, and for 25 percentage off. Then this pie chart gives you the idea regarding their discounts, particular discounts, uh, some of discounts, that is total discount for um, different promo promotion types. So for, uh, um, uh, that is, uh, this one is for buy one get one free, that is total discount value is 95 million for uh, di different products. Okay, then 500 cash by less than 32 million and very low, that is 50 percentage off, it is very low and uh, that is less than 2 million and for 25 percentage it is uh, the value of, uh, value of discount is 2 million. So this graph gives you the idea regarding particular discount for particular uh, promo types. These two cards gives you the uh, easy understanding of total revenue after promotion and total quantity after promotion. And then this cost uh, I am using here because uh, it gives you the percentage uh, increment to sold, for, sold in unit and uh, some of discount. What is the discount value? Okay, so uh, this uh, page gives you the idea regarding different uh, promotion types like buy, buy one get one free, such kinds of offers regarding uh, different promo types and their discounts, their uh, revenue value, then what is the effect of their increment uh, IR and ISU on the particular uh, uh, promo types. So this uh, idea, uh, this gives you the idea regarding this. So depending upon my uh, report, I have created some insights. So let's see these insights one by one. So uh, these are the top 10 stores by IR and bottom 10 stores by ISU. Okay, then uh, this uh, one, these are the performance of stores uh, varying by different cities. So as you see that the so Bangalore has the highest stores, that is 10. And um, uh, the Vijayawada and the Sarvan Dhamma has the lowest, that is 2. Okay, then this graph shows the counts of stores in different cities also. And their performance of stores with respect to IR and ISO in different um, cities. Then uh, these uh, two graphs use the... Uh, total, uh, as you see here, so there are top two, that is 5 and get one free and 500 cash price. These are the top two uh, promo types which has the highest uh, increment uh, IR values. Okay, others has a very low, uh, 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 which is a negative increment. Okay, then the next thing is ISU. ISU uh, for ISU in different uh, promo types. Okay, so as you see that the ISU is also top two ISU values, that is increment and store values, uh, so units are higher in buy one get one free and 500 cash back okay and uh, others have very uh, negative that is 25% uh, of uh, have negative values that means there is a decrease in ISO decremented ISO means uh, promo type okay then these uh, two uh, graphs gives you the discounts in their different promo type okay so uh, this other uh, promo type uh, these are the total values of discounts okay for particular uh, um, uh, values then the next thing is uh, category with highest is the grocery staples, the home appliance, home care, combo of one. So these are the categories which has an uh, highest sell. So highest sell can be find out by using IS values in capital sold unit. So which are, uh, which has an for grocery staples there is 651 percentage increase high. Okay then uh, okay. So the next thing is products with high sales after promotion. So as you, as you see here. For at least sunflower oil, for products that at least some sunflower oil, there is a higher increment sold per unit that is 653 percentage. Okay, for promo type buy one get one free. So uh, at least sunflower oil has the highest uh, ISC value, hence it has the highest sales growth after promotion. And some products have very um, negative negative ISC, hence they have uh, decreased their sales after promotion. So uh, these are my different uh, uh, analysis regarding uh, the uh, different products, different categories, okay, regarding this uh, at least mark sales, uh, sales uh, products. Okay, so uh, I hope these insights are uh, very useful for uh, the sales director. And um, so, yes, so thank you, Dhabal uh, Patel sir, Hemanam Padipal sir, and of course, Forbes Expo, such a wonderful opportunity. So thank you, everyone. Thank you.